What? I thought the title was cool. Sue me. No way, don't sue Hey, how's it going? Hope you're having a safe and awesome week. So, as it does with most folks, uh, life has kind of happened. Uh, this video is going to be a multi-unboxing video and just showing off a couple of things that we grabbed. I, my, my one hope for this video is for the people that I'm unboxing stuff for, I hope you don't think that your your book was any less than I do other whole unboxing videos for. This is just because I've been so busy and stuff is starting to pile up. Uh, I just thought, why not just do one video with all this cool stuff in one place? So, that being said, let me talk about the first thing that I got. This was so unexpected uh, that when I got the boxes, like, this is from Ohio. And I kind of recognize the name on it, but I was like, man, I don't remember getting a Kickstarter from this person. Well, when Jenna got up, she saw that I had the package and she was like, yeah, you need to open that right now. So I did. And the very first thing that I had on top was a note. And this note I will not read out loud. This will be just for the house. Uh, but I got a package from Bearded Comic Bro, and I gotta tell you, I am so blown away by this. Let me show you what I got. I'm wearing the first thing. I'm wearing the first thing. Sent me an awesome Bearded Comic Bro shirt. Look at this thing. I've been wanting to get one of these forever, and now I have one. So, so awesome. Uh, but that's not the only thing he sent. We actually have the Jump 2 Trauma Purge exclusive cover with Bearded and Mrs. Bearded. This is a homage to Back to the Future 2. Check that out. Let me see if I get it in there right. Y'all know me, how I am when it comes to the camera work and the lighting. And there's a penny. But, uh, yeah, that's super cool. Uh, if y'all haven't checked out Bearded Comic Bros channel, you need to do so. He and Mrs. Bearded have interviews, and uh, they're doing a thing called Bearded and Cole's Comic Challenge, which eventually, hopefully, we'll get on. But I'm going to post a link, or get Sean to post a link to that video. We're either going to put it in the uh, description or down in the comments, pin it in the comments. Uh, it's a really awesome cover challenge he and his, his buddy Cole set up. This time it's a um, indie cover challenge except for Image but watch the video and you'll see the rules. Uh, they also have a really awesome show on Friday that's named that character where he and Mrs. Bearded take turns testing each other in different ways about characters and all. It, it's a crazy show it's, it's hilarious uh, Mrs. Bearded, some of the names Mrs. Bearded comes up with for some characters, hilarious. Um, but in all seriousness, uh, to, to Bearded and Mrs. Bearded, thank you so much. Uh, I, I really do appreciate it. We really appreciate it. Uh, Y'all have been so helpful to us with, without even, you know, without even you really knowing it. You, you've helped us out a lot. We appreciate it. And this household is always going to have y'all's backs. So again, thank you so much for the shirt and the comic. Appreciate it. All right. Now on to the next thing. This is Andy. awesome. Patreon box from Garrett Gunn. Uh, this was a double month one, so there's a couple of things here. I've already We've already opened this one. Uh, but the first thing I want to show y'all is this awesome exclusive variant cover by John Gallagher. This is Little Red Ronin, a metal cover. Just let me see if I can turn this correctly here. Turn it sideways so you can see. Look how awesome that is. 
It's a metal cover. I'm pretty sure this is the full, yeah, I think this is the full, I can't tell if this is the full book or the ash can. But either way it goes, super, super awesome. I, I feel bad for these, uh, these covers sometimes because it's basically we open them once, we look at them, and then they're never opened again. But that's all right. Yeah, that looks like the full one. So yeah, there's that first one. Little Red Ronin metal cover from John Gallagher. Then we also got a really, really, just super dope metal cover. Good Boy variant by Chris Campana. Good Boy Volume 2 number... I think this is number 2, but that's Abraham on the cover. Another just super dope cover. Oh, I'll tell you what, if you get a chance, get get in touch with Garrett, see if he has any of his tiers left. We're on the uh, Mega Homie tier, I believe. That's, That's why fun. we get all the medals that we do. Trust me, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Oh, okay, now we got we got two more from here. These are just going to be regular covers, still exclusives, but we have. Volume 2 of Good Boy, Issue 1, and I actually haven't read the rest of the story yet, so I'm not sure who this character is, but they look awesome. Let me crack this one open real fast. Let's see what, if I can figure out who did the cover. And there's another book in, on the back back of it so let me see this one Ooh, I'm gonna butcher this but uh, this is exclusive variant by Lyrex or Lyrex please somebody let me know if I'm saying that correctly but that is a super dope cover there it is out of the bag all right the last thing we got from the patreon says source point premium on the back sure this is uh this says fan expo cleveland exclusive formerly wizard world and this is another Ooh, that feels nice another red ronin cover let me get in here see if i can figure out this is an exclusive variant art by Malaya Hubert. Again, if I'm mispronouncing that, please somebody let me know. Oh, super dope. I'm telling y'all, if y'all aren't, aren't on this Garrett Gun Patreon, you really need to get on it. Like, some of the coolest stuff. Stuff you're not going to find in most anywhere else. So yeah, that was the Patreon. Now, before I get to the final box, I just want to show you some cool stuff we picked up. Uh, this has already been unboxed. This is a Professor Hulk. Check out the pink bunny slippers. I think this was a P... What is it? PX? It's some kind of exclusive, or maybe it was just a Walmart exclusive. I don't know. But uh, we saw this a little while back. We were afraid we weren't going to be able to get it. We saw one the other night. We were just like, you know what, let's just go ahead and grab it. A cool little bobblehead there. Uh, man, and then we got uh, an art series, Darth Vader Mustafar. If I'm saying that right. This comes in a plastic case and everything. I don't know if you can see that. It's like lava. Just a super dope figure. Like, super dope. Hopefully, we can go and pick up some more of these before, they, uh, before they're gone. Now, the last thing that, that I'm going to show you, uh, collectible wise, it's the first one of these we've ever, we've ever gotten. And I saw this one and I was like, I got to have it. Now, I'm going to be a thousand percent honest. I didn't know a whole lot about this character. I learned about them on 
uh, a Spider-Man show. I want to say it was Ultimate Spider-Man. I might have seen the character before, but I didn't know a whole lot about them. But this is the Moon Knight. The one that comes, I think that's a comic in the back. But I thought, man, this thing looks awesome. Check that out. Yeah, I haven't opened we haven't opened it just yet. I can't I don't know if that's just a background or if that's actually a comic, but either way, I think this thing looks awesome. The Moon Knight in there is a super dope design. So yeah. So that's the collectible stuff we got. Now, on to the last box, and I'm gonna try to not drone on and on about this one. But once I once I tell the story, people might know what this is. Uh, so this was actually a campaign that I backed sometime last year or the year before. And the first time the campaign was going, they didn't fund. Well, they decided they regrouped and relaunched the Kickstarter. And this time, not only did they fund, they funded like the first day. And I was super happy to get this in. So let me go ahead, without further ado, let me pop this tape off here. I am super excited to get this in. Uh, this has been my story to people where I'm like, you know what, don't give up. Just because you don't, you don't hit your goal the first time, especially comic-wise or Kickstarter-wise or just life-wise in general. You know, just because you didn't get it the first time, try again because you never know. So... This is Red Scare. Now I got the uh, got it signed. I believe the version I got. I want to say that's the Russian title at the front, at the on the front of it. Or I could be totally incorrect. But either way, I'm super excited to get this book in. I've uh, got couple little goodies in here. I'll go ahead and get through those real fast. Let me move the box out of the way. Something more and more that I'm, I'm loving getting from people are these uh, these pins. It's a super dope pin. We usually stick these either in the wall or, or cork board. But these are awesome. Little knickknacks like this are super awesome. All right, let me crack the comic open. I got some stuff in the back here. I don't know if I can get it out. Hold on. Got some, ooh, some nice prints. Holy cow. Wow, that is awesome. Woo. Another one right here. Very, very nice. And we got... Woo! Little one here with some art on it. And let's see, what is this? This is from About Time Comics. Post links and stuff to their website. Man. I can't tell if that's a sticker or a card. I think it's just a card, but a dope card nonetheless. Super awesome. Now, break out the comic. Tell you a little bit about it. Red Scare. Concept by Lee Giles. Written by Scott Wilkie. Art and colors by Flavio Nano Giron. Lettering, logo, and book design by Dave Lentz. Oh, man. We, we will definitely have a review up on this one. I don't want to give too much away about it. Uh, but... Zombies. That's, that's the only thing I'm going to tell you about it. There are zombies in it. 
Once again, there's the cover without the bag on it. Oh. I can't, again, I can't tell folks how excited I was for this because I was, I was so looking forward to it the first time. But, you know, things happen. Things happen, but, you know, he, uh, they regrouped, like I said, decided, you know, let's launch the campaign again, and more people got on board, and they got funded first day. And now I got all this cool stuff here, so we're super excited to start getting in some more stuff. Hopefully I won't let it build up. Like I said, just life kind of got got overwhelming for a second with work and everything we were doing stuff was starting to pile up but uh don't forget to get on that beard and coal cover challenge if if you do it make sure you tag them or i'll put the link to that video somewhere or i'll have Sh sean will do it uh don't forget to like share comment subscribe you know let us know what you liked about the video, what you didn't like, something you'd like to see in the future, anything at all. Just leave us a comment. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime we drop a video. Uh, they're kind of random, though. So, uh, Anyway, that's going to do it all for me today, folks. Thank you for sticking around this long if you had, uh, and I will catch you next time. Later,